The Battle of Crete began on the 20th of May 1941 when Nazi Germany launched an airborne invasion under the code name Operation Mercury. Greek and Allied forces along with Cretan civilians defended the island. The battle was unprecedented in combat history as it was the first time that German paratroopers were deployed on a massive scale and the first time that German troops encountered heavy resistance from a civilian population. The operation resulted in heavy casualties for the German paratroopers and subsequently Hitler did not approve any other large-scale airborne operations. For historians around the world, the Battle of Crete is considered as one of the most heroic actions of the World War II in Greece. Suda Bay War Cemetery. In May 1941, the Commonwealth Force in Crete was organised in five widely separated defence areas along the north coast and at Suda Bay and the port of Harnia. The Germans launched their attack on the 20th of May with airborne troops. The airfield at Melamy was quickly captured and used for landing German reinforcements. On 23rd of May, the remainder of the Melamy position had to be given up and its defenders fell back to Harnia. On 26th of May, the Allied line west of Harnia was broken. Suda Bay became indefensible and the troops from these positions withdrew across the island, where many of them were evacuated by sea on the nights of the 28th to 31st of May. Of the total Commonwealth land force of 32,000 men, 18,000 were evacuated, 12,000 taken prisoner and 2,000 were killed. The site of Suda Bay War Cemetery was chosen after the war and the graves were moved there by the 21st and 22nd Australian War Graves Unit from the four burial sites that had been established by the German occupying forces. There are now 1,502 Commonwealth servicemen of the Second World War buried or commemorated in the cemetery. 778 of the burials are unidentified, but special memorials commemorate a number of casualties believed to be buried among them.
Once the entire island of Crete came under the control of the occupying forces, part of the German army moved into the village of Platanias. The typical village hill was chosen in the first place as a strategic location for controlling both land and sea. Despite other military constructions like trenches and machine gun sites, the German also decided to build the war shelter. The exact spot below the village's main church was chosen because the temple itself provided a natural protection to air bombings and as the rare soft rock was easy to dig. <laughs> Within six months, local forced workers managed to dig a 200 metre long underground tunnel. Ten booths, a main shelter and two exits were also constructed. The shelter was used to store ammunition and military material. After the war, the tunnel was used by locals as a pantry because of the microclimate of the galleries. From 2013, the Britannia's Church Committee a team of volunteers from the village decided to reconstruct the war shelter and utilise it at a small World War II museum in the memory of the Battle of Crete. The construction of the shelter itself is related to an interesting local story. During the battle, a heavily wounded German pilot died in Platanias after he was nursed by locals for several days. The strong fear for Nazi reprisals and executions of innocent civilians forced the villagers to bury him in a secret grave near the church. Unfortunately, some days later, this exact spot was chosen by the German officer in order to begin the excavations for the shelter construction. A smart church commissioner persuaded the Nazis to move the tunnel entrance, thus not revealing the secret soldier's grave and consequently saving the village from certain massacre. He invoked the holiness of an olive tree that stands in the same place as the main entrance of the war shelter to this day.